Hello my love. So today's video is going to be a review on this new CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk Foundation. Now there are a few reviews out on this and they're not so great of reviews, but I never base uh, my opinion off of other people's reviews. I always give an honest opinion. Now this is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk Nourishing Foundation with cocoa with cocoa with coconut milk and aloe extract and um, it's a dewy finish so um, I got the lightest shade I'm pretty sure um, and it's in 510 porcelain and um, let's see what the back says it blurs imperfections evens out skin tone sheer buildable coverage instant all-day hydration so um, I have been testing this out for a good two weeks, so I can give such um, I can give you guys a very good review on this and my overall opinion how I like it. So I'm going to show you guys my face um, right here. Well, I'm going to do a little um, voiceover and show you guys um, what my face looks like before I apply it and then afterward, and then I'm going to do a wear test. So. All right, so here's what my face looks like before. Obviously, I have freckles, I have some redness on my face, and a big gnarly scratch on my chin. Toddler decided to do the night before. <laughs> so this is what my face looks like after I applied the foundation. So I applied it with a wet beauty blender, and I actually got, it's very like skin-like, but I feel like I got very good coverage. I did um, two layers, but I love it. Now, this is what my face looks like after I added powder, a little bit of um, bronzer and blush, and you guys, this foundation, if you can't see yourself, I mean, I hope that you see. It is very skin-like. I feel like it's flawless. I love it. I feel like this is a great, easy, everyday foundation. Hey guys, so it, I am back. Um, I had a little play date with my friend Taylor. She has a son that's like six months older than Hunter. They had a blast. So um, it's been five and a half hours since I've put this foundation on and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like up close. All right, as you can see, my forehead is not oily whatsoever. I have a bit of a shine to it, but that's like normal, but it's nothing that I'm like too concerned about. My face is looking very fresh, like not cakey at all. Of course, on my nose, as you guys can see, I do have some of the product gone as well as my chin, but that's not anything that I'm like, oh my gosh, shocked by because it happens all the time. This cheek right here looks great too. My bronzer and blush have stayed on really well. All right, y'all, so it's the end of the night. I've had this on for like 10 hours and this is what my face is looking like. Uh, I took a nap with Hunter, so it kind of wore off on my cheeks just a bit, of course, on my chin. But uh, overall, I just um, really love this foundation. I think it still looks good on the skin even after 10 hours. My eyebrows totally messed up. Like I said, I was napping and laying next to Hunter. So yeah. So overall, this foundation to me, I love it. I have been wearing it like every single day. Well, almost every single day, like every other day, whenever I put makeup on. And it's just so lightweight and you forget it's on your face. It's not tacky or anything. I don't get oily from this, which is so nice because I do have an oily T-zone. I highly recommend this, guys, especially if you want, you're not going to get full coverage out of it, but if you, excuse me, if you want more of like a sheer light medium-ish coverage foundation, this is just great. I, like I said, I don't get any shine from it. Um, it's very hydrating. It looks amazing on the skin. I love it. Again, I highly recommend it. Good job to you, cover girl. <laughs> you did be you. Um, hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any requests on any other foundations you'd like to see me review, then comment them down below. Bye.